John Hessen here, uh, part of the Grass 10 Open Day with uh, the Dairy Patrick Herd in Grange. Here we're discussing farm infrastructure which is a key component to grazing and utilising more grass on your farm. Part of the farm, we'll go back to basics, is setting up your farm to grow grass and not silage. And to do this, we're talking about a rotational, grazing, a rotational paddock grazing system. On this farm, we have eight paddocks per grazing group, which will uh, decrease down to seven next year. And the target for all of this is to have an appropriate paddock size for your herd, with a paddock shape of two to one from length to width. So we're talking about going from set stocking, or five day paddocks, to three to four day paddocks where you're increasing grass growth and then going to two to three day paddocks where you can grow 25 percent more grass but when you're doing so it is important to bear in mind the water requirements of your cows or your group of animals so we're saying here of 80 to 120 liters per cow per day and we're going from one drinker to two drinking points to three drinking points so it's important to bear in mind the water points required when you're implementing your, your paddock system so an example here is a three day paddock, one hectare for 35 suckler cows with multiple access points. That is to be able to utilize during periods of uh, poor weather conditions so that you don't damage the one access point. In order, in, order to in order to increase the number of paddocks on your farm, we're suggesting to maybe go in with a more temporary application at first to be able to adjust your farm and your paddock size to your requirements. So for 30, cent, 30 to 40 cent per meter, you can use pigtails and poly wire, set up your paddocks and try out the paddock system. And hopefully you'll be growing more grass and you'll be tempted to go for a more permanent style of fencing with a cost of 160 to 175 per acre. This may not always be the option, but it may take a, it may take a couple of years to get to this point, but it is a point and a, an option for farmers to implement, as is the high, tensile wire, the high tensile sheep wire and two strands, and the three to four strands of electrified poly wire also. So there are some key messages and methods in order to grow more grass in your farm and hopefully utilize as well. And then in periods of tough grazing conditions, as we're experiencing now due to high rainfall, we can block graze where you can can split again from your from your drinker like this or you can go like a spokes of a wheel where you're sectioning this paddock off giving a 12 hour 12 hour allocation and going again that's the limit the damage that's done on this area of the farm